Hey folks, welcome to another This Week in Hitting Dice. I actually remembered to hit the record button on this video, so the 12 minutes worth of rambling I just did was entirely wasted, and it's really late because I've had a stupendously busy day. I've been down to the Calgary Comic Con and Entertainment Expo, and uh, just getting some footage for the Sentry Boxes Facebook page. That will probably go up some point tomorrow if I can get the editing done in time. But um, yeah, that took up most of my day today, um, and then I did the, uh, the Sentry Boxes live stream as well. So check out the Facebook page if you want to see me getting smashed off. Off smashing, no spoilers. Uh, we play Space Hulk uh, because I painted Greg's copy of Space Hulk. It took me about a year worth of procrastination and only doing it on painting demos on Sundays and stuff to finally get them done. And these Terminators are so, they're such nice models, but they're so individualistic, it was really hard to paint them quickly. So, um, yeah, just getting the Terminators done was a big accomplishment. I spent a little bit more time on the two characters, a little bit of object source lighting from the eyes, freehand painting on his shoulder guard. Um, I really like her on the sergeant and uh, giving him his little fang. But just really tried to make them stand out a little bit. And I think it paid off the extra effort on those two. The gene stealers should be coming up yet. So there's a brood lord and just a couple of generic gene stealers. They went really quickly, actually, not too bad at all. The bases were a little bit more complex, with all the skulls and different helmet colours. But the Brood Lord is a really nice model and kind of got the feathering effect I wanted on the claws. But this is my favourite. I love the dead guy and the cat and then the uh, relic as well. So I finally got that done. Uh, that was finished on the Sunday. So I should probably jump back to the Saturday where I ran the Batman Miniatures Game Tournament. The first one I'd ever run. And the first one we'd had in the Sentry Box as well. And we also had an X-Wing event going on. So that was interesting, ran me a little bit ragged, but really inspired me to get my ball of Batman stuff I own, I at least built and start playing the game a little bit more. So probably some content for that coming in the future once all this pile of garbage is done. Uh, so much stuff, I'm so far behind. Uh, first world problems, Had too many toy soldiers to play with. Um, but I'm going for the Frank Miller Batman from the Dark Knight Returns. So I have Frank Miller Batman, uh, Frank Miller Green Arrow, Carrie Kelly, I think it's Carrie Kelly, or Kerry Carrie, I don't know. Carrie Kelly, well, that's what we'll go with as Robin. And then the Three Sons of Batman, and it leaves me just enough reputation to hire Alfred as well. Splattering of upgrades. It should be a pretty decent squad, quite themed. I'm going to try a different painting technique on it as well. I'm going to try to make it a little bit more black lined so it has a more comic book feel to it. Don't know exactly how I'll pull it off given like, the Frank Miller art style as well. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to try something different with it. So I'm not going to like show you the burn metals. I'll, I'll try and get them done probably through the month of May. I'm going to be working on them. So hopefully four weeks time-ish we'll have another one of these videos and I'll be able to show you my new Batman uh, crew, gang, warband, I don't know. Um, speaking of painting, I got a commission this week. Um, Crystal brought me a couple of her D&D miniatures in. I wanted them doing just quickly and to a relatively cheap standard. So I did them pretty quickly. I think it took me two days in all for the three of them. Um, maybe six to ten hours, maybe. Not really sure. I didn't keep track properly. But um, it was this one was just a touch up. It was already painted, but I changed the coloration around a little bit and then just made it a little bit cleaner. Um, the assassin rogue type one was what well, she wanted doing dark colours. So I, I, I wanted to contrast it. I really like that base. I really like how that turned out. And then the purple on the armour. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, and then I went for the red face. That's just for a bit of contrast. And this paladin, I went with a blue and a white colour scheme with like nice shiny gold armour and silver chain mail. Um, so she was really happy. She picked those up today. I'm really happy with them. So that was refreshing. Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Yeah, we did that on Monday. 
Um, we've been all over the week this time. No, I said I just want to get this video done and it take less than 12 minutes. We'll have a fancy role play on Monday. Uh, Davina couldn't come this week, so it was just uh, myself, Daniel, and Greg again. Um, I felt like I did a bit, bit better this time, like presenting the information and making the world feel more immersive. I tried to get a little bit more um, flourishy uh, with my words. Obviously, I'm doing really well tonight. But I, just the way I tried to describe things, just giving more superfluous details, that kind of stuff. So um, when they had an assassination attempt upon them, I, they opened up a letter that had been sent to them and it I exploded into a kind of magical fire and this demon leapt out. So normally it would have been, so as you open a letter, it bursts into flames and the demon jumps out. I tried to get a little bit more flourishy with it. So that the demon leaps out and latches onto Sigismund's armour and like the, the tendrils on its tentacle legs have got suckers on it which attach as you try to rip them off the popping noises that they make pop, 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 coming off the armour. And just a little bit more like, involved in how I try to tell a story. And... It's hard. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I expected it to be to make it. Even if they don't even notice, it's more fun for me trying to tell the story. And I feel like I'm getting better at it the more I do it. So, yeah, that's going pretty well. Um, what else? Tuesday, I worked. Wednesday, my mum arrived and I did painting for Crystal's um, commission. Thursdays, I don't work Thursdays anymore. So I finished off Crystal's stuff. Then I went into a store to play a game of Rune Wars. I took my uh, my Warqua that I'm doing for the Tale of Four Gamers. Uh, I actually took photographs of this game and stuff. I'm going to be writing a battle report, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. But I tried something different, and it was a really close game. Really back and forth, so definitely try and check that out if you're interested in Rune Wars. I'll have some, like I said, photographs and battle report and stuff done up. Um, so yeah, thanks Stefan for actually coming down and giving me the game. I really appreciate you uh, letting me get away early so that I could go and watch Infinity War. If you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War yet, make sure you go out and watch it. It was spectacular. Um, really well done. I thought some solid storytelling concepts in there. It really, really good. I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'll probably do a better video maybe next week or a week after. Probably a week after because I'll be in Minnesota next week. So yeah, um, going to Minnesota for the FFG World Championships for the Star Wars track. I will be flying out on Monday, so I arrive in time for Hyperspace Report. I don't know if I'll be allowed to do a live stream for it because they are streaming it themselves. If I can, I will. But I'll definitely make sure you get some uh, opinion pieces and any news I can get out of the will come at you thick and fast next week, along with normal event coverage. Um, I don't think I missed anything, like I said, a really hectic, busy week. Um, not been sleeping that well with, um, I think, like this diet, this, uh, doing, trying, trying to do a keto diet. I don't know if I said what diet it was, but like a ketogenic diet, so it's like higher in fat, um, low in carbohydrates, and medium to low in protein really weird for me the only time i've ever tried to like, eat healthily and stuff before it's been really high protein low carbs and moderate fat so that switch around has been a little bit tricky but i've lost about well, 14 pounds probably um in um, not not a massively short period of time but um i'm not trying to lose it all too quickly anyway because i want it to stay off for a little bit a little bit longer but yeah, the, the chin's still there, so the beard's coming back. Um, but yeah, it seems to be going pretty well, but it's giving me stupidly annoying insomnia. So I'll, I'm trying to start, if I can't sleep, to start getting up and being productive. So my uh, my to-do list is slowly coming down, but we'll see how, uh, how much further I can get through it. All I can do is take the time to thank you all for watching. I know that these ones can be a little bit meandering. This one's been all over the place. So if you manage to stick through it all the way, it's brilliant, thank you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give me a like and a thumbs up, let me know how your week has gone, what you've been playing, what you've been doing. I've got some exciting stuff coming for a weekend and then world, so next week will be a good one. 
and thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you on the next one.